Alright, hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy VI Blind. This is Slam Jam again playing. Been informed I should, in fact, partake in the auction house extravaganza for the absolutely insane price of $500,000. And bet this towards the ring thing. The whole the thing going on that you bet stuff. And that actually might be a good instance to use. Um, like I mentioned, the uh, freaking Yeti dude that we just got. Anyways, but we're doing the bidding again. I don't know how many times I've been in this freaking auction house already. Let's keep bidding. Hopefully we get it for less if we actually do. Ho, ho, ho. There's nothing I can't buy. Who is that that keeps saying that? Like, I keep expecting some like, well, I, can't, I was going to say, I keep expecting some like Santa Claus looking dude for some reason. But I guess he is saying ho, ho, ho. That's why. Maybe it's Tim Allen Santa Claus. I'd be down for that. I'm not as low on Tim Allen as everybody else. I don't have enough money. Of course. Of course. Of course. How many times does this guy get to look like an idiot, right? Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> Anyways, it's uh, 312,000. I guess we can keep that in mind. Don't worry. We've got other things to do. I just get to feel like a dummy again. <laughs> but it's fine. Uh, I, I had mentioned that uh, in the last video, what you guys thought, and yeah, everybody's more helpful than, than yeah, honestly, everybody's helpful. There's no, there's no other end of that statement, so, uh, you know, I think I'm going to be doing things uh, with some playthroughs behind myself as like a reverse practice run sort of thing, kind of like I'm doing at the PlayStation right now, stuff like that. Um, speaking of which, Brother's been over for a while, as I mentioned in one of the previous videos, so... Things are a bit lost among me as far as like just little things that slip away over the days, but uh, getting a little video out here, and uh, we'll cut you to all the goings ons. I imagine we'll probably have a uh, run in with a uh, death gaze or whatever the heck the flying dude is, but I have a number of places I can explore thanks to Dine's Guide, and we will see you there. I'm actually trying to remember. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just I'm, I'm having this whole world map experience right now in the GBA, which of course, as you guys know, is the first, the second Final Fantasy game I ever played was uh oh we're actually where i want to be yeah but the second uh, final fantasy game i ever played was on the gba uh final fantasy 4 i just remember exploring a world map and being very intrigued and i but i'm just remembering i don't think there was a mini map correct me if i'm wrong gba version users was there a mini map i mean i could boot it up and look but uh i don't actually own that one it's not the optimal version i think at this point but uh i'm curious to maybe do it I did actually get myself a new GBA. I'll talk about that real quick. Uh, so I uh, don't say emulation never draws sales. Uh, I bought Final Fantasy VI today on GBA uh, with a wonderful sort of tax return thing I got that I wasn't expecting. So I had a couple hundred dollars and uh, I had a project last year to mod my Game Boy Advance SP I had just bought and, and I botched it. So I've been feeling bad about that for a year because I did buy games like Final Fantasy V and uh, the, some of the Pokemon games back. And, uh, anyways, I, I found a good deal on a already pre-modded, like, original Game Boy Advance. Uh, it's like a see-through blue, like, light blue, turquoise kind of thing. I really like that color. And, uh, it's got the ten, ten different backlights or whatever. Still got, it's still gonna run off batteries. I, I'm looking at battery modding that maybe later. But, anyways, I bought that. It shipped. And I bought Final Fantasy VI GBA Sound Mod. I know. <laughs> Take that with a grain of salt, what I said about emulation driving sales, because I'm actually buying a repro for the sake of getting the sound mod, but can you blame me? Uh, I did that with 5, actually, too. And Anyways, I might consider that with 4, but I I prefer that Steam version and the DS version just way way, way more, I think, but I, I'm curious to revisit the Game Boy Advance version, perhaps. Anyways, on to the topic at hand. And now that we have Realm, we can go recruit Strago from this weird... Do, do thing, perhaps? Oh, is this the second time I'm gonna feel like a dummy? We probably need uh, Realm with us. That's probably a good thought, right? Alright, let's do that quick. I thought it might be enough just to have, um, you know, uh, Realm in the party, but uh, it actually makes sense that we probably need the character with us. Come on! Let's go knock the crazy right out of that guy. Yeah, you... Yeah, yeah, uh, that's a good way of putting it, for sure. All right, what do we want here? I, I think, well, I honestly, like, I, I'm i trying not to hold too much bias with, like, I, I say that with my RPGs these days, 
I won't ramble about this too much. I know I've talked about it. I try to use everybody evenly unless I don't like the design of any in any way. So uh, that's kind of a thing that's happening. But when it comes to Terra, I just feel like she's the main character that's not necessary. I don't want to say she's not being treated like the main character. It's kind of nice you can choose to not have her. But I just feel like, yes, I want to use everybody or a bunch of characters. But I do also want to have... Um, I do also want to have Terra in the party all the time. For whatever reason, it's just it's the main character of the game. It makes sense to me. It's, it's weird to me that we can't, that we cannot have her in the party. If that makes sense, even though I know she does her whole like freeze the transformation, you don't get her. I mean, so does Cloud. Spoilers and not a very freeze up e way, and more of a kind of I'm in a wheelchair and ill sort of way. But anyways, uh, a little bit forward. I'm not sure how the airship seemed to be offset there at the time. I'm gonna check what I have going on with these guys. One sec. One thing I'm noticing here, um, I was I, I hit optimize, which I don't actually do a lot these days on these games, but uh, I was like, didn't Chris have a brush sort of weapon that I've been hanging on to? It optimized the Megas Rod onto her. Um, but it makes sense to me. Wouldn't I want the Chocobo brush because of her class? That's what I'm going to opt to do. I just... Can she still do stuff with the other weapons? Because I might consider them, but I just didn't really... Imagine her wielding a, uh, a, uh, staff, right? So. Okay, this is what I'm talking about when I don't really love to hit the optimize button, but, uh, I actually changed it pretty much everything out. Other than the behemoth suit, um, costume made from an actual behemoth hide. I mean, that just seemed like the best one there. Obviously the brush, for reasons I stated, force shield, I'm gonna make her really strong against defending against magic. Same reason for the mystery veil, uh, more magic evasion. Uh, that's Chris so far. Optimize actually seemed to work pretty well for uh, Mog here, so we're gonna go with that. And of course, nothing changed for Terra and Celis at the moment. Okay, as far as relics go, we're gonna have the Dragoon boots on Mog because you guys know I love my Dragoons, and we're gonna uh, endorse the shit out of that for our spear wielding friend here. And the Knight's Coat, uh, we need one of our party members to be able to. Take some damage for other folks who might say be like Chris, where we are again not super defensive necessarily. Actually, if I look at that and then the number and it makes me laugh because we actually quite are. But again, we're boosting our magic evasion, um, and, and once again with the Zephyr cloak and evasion as well. So Chris is going to be very hard to hit. I'm hoping. Uh, what are we at? Magic evasion 79 and evasion 23. More so for magic, yeah. Uh, and then even if. Chris is getting pretty hurt. We're going to go with um, the Barrier Ring to cast Shell when critically wounded. I was say, I don't know if we've actually used Chris that much. Because I was going to say she has a good magic casting stat, at least with some of the equipment. But no magic to speak of, which is what I thought. Uh, I guess we're going to be learning some now. Again, a character I haven't really used, so I think that's the case here. Best thing I can think for Chris, honestly, is kind of like... We don't need another magic focus person or um, healing focus person with Terra and uh, Cells in the party. And I don't imagine too many assists I'll be using Crispy on this. So we're going to focus on more kind of party buffing magic, if anything, uh, with Kezitelli. Which doesn't really teach us any stats, per se, which would be nice. But, like, our stats are already pretty good, it looks like. And uh, as far as the gained ones, plus we have this Lakshmi we haven't actually used yet, I know. But... Uh, Perhaps that's something for Mog. We'll, we'll, we'll luck here, but kept Sally. Um, second guessing myself a bit, but that's what I think I'm going to go with. P.S. Side note if uh, Chris, uh, Chris's general attacks, Chris Realm, whatever, I'm, you know, we renamed her this time. If she, it has anything to do with uh, magic, uh, that might make a lot of sense for her high magic stats. Uh, I'll keep track of that uh, myself as well, but uh, let me know. I think I'm going to go with Lakshmi just because, uh, again, we don't need the healers. Might not be our strongest party. Might not be the worst thought anyways. But finish out the curing stuff I was giving to Mog in case we do use Mog again. Makes sense to me. Uh, actually, interesting that Mog's not full on MP. Actually, that's probably based off stuff I equipped. I did re review the dances as well. And speaking of things I'm going to review, also PS, a complete backline party, by the way. Uh, <laughs> It's going to be an interesting one going forward. What I'm actually going to do for myself is one of those proactive things I'm talking about. So it's been a week since I played largely. Uh, there was that little, little seven minute session or whatever that was. 
We're going to do some random battles for myself, just to kind of reacquaint with these characters, uh, especially the ones I've been using in a while. But I will cut you guys away unless something interesting happens. Mog learned Asuna, Chris learned Haste. It's happening real quickly. At least we have some things there. I haven't noticed, uh, I didn't actually notice her stat going down with magic. Again, I'm actually taking time to observe these things. So there's no actual MP being spent, much like if it is that case, uh, Sabin. One thing I'm actually going to try here, uh, I'm going to double check my equipment, but Terra does have that ultimate weapon on. So she might not be a bad frontliner for this, at least this party configura configuration, but uh, not the most offense, uh, really good defense and uh, magic defense. So she should be okay, but we'll see. Uh, figure get the most out of that ultimate weapon anyways, and uh, looks like almost her or Celis could have the best result out of it based off health pools at the moment. I thought Mog would be higher, but I guess, uh, yeah, Mog's like eight levels behind to be fair. Uh, can I get a replay on that? Apparently I did 15 damage and killed that guy. What? How much health do those dudes have? Fuck. <laughs> 15 damage! What the heck? 8 damage? Are, are these guys just really high defense? No, because Terra's doing- what the heck? They seriously have a health pool of like, 12? The heck is going I'm sure I'll find out in my little unintentional grinding session here. I think they really do have that small of a health pool. That is so strange. You know, it might be because where we are is really above our our um, level. Which isn't a bad thing, because I am doing this mostly to test things out and kind of get reacquainted. Uh, so it's not really about grinding. <laughs> Crystalline Shell, it's good for AP if nothing else, I guess, because uh, I do believe these guys are really low damage output on us too, so I don't know quite what's going on, but uh, I imagine that's the case. I imagine everywhere in this new world is not like up to snuff with what our level is, correct? This deck I was taking a lot more damage, interesting. Still not a lot of experience from it, mind you. No, 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 I don't think so, I think we should be in quad digits, I think, if it's, uh, you know, up to snuff. Okay, uh, that's enough of that for now. I think we're probably doing okay. I'm gonna get a little, little bit of a tent situation going on, cause why not? And uh, see what we got going on with Strago here. Finally get some progress going for myself. We didn't do a lot of reacquainting, but I figure it's probably just a healthy thing to do whenever I have a break. Plus, I don't mind my little gameplay here and there, right? So, anyways, I don't think there's anything else I wanted to talk about particularly. It wasn't the game. Uh, yes, this does make a difference though weird satanic serenade going on here i don't even know serenade is not the right word i don't yeah, i know what word i'm looking for come on now you stubborn old bag of butt one snap out of it it's one thing i don't remember they're like father daughter at least guardian daughter correct what is their ages are we like looking at like look i'm gonna guess like 65 and 15 i, I don't I, I could look these things up but that's what the comment section's for right <laughs> I could look it up too. Chris! Chris, is it really you, dear? You're alive. I don't remember what voice I had for him, for the record. I barely remember him existing out of all the characters, honestly. Grandpa, you idiot! What were you thinking? Oh, Chris, uh, but I was sure you were. Did you really think I was gonna check out before you, you old geese bag? Ha ha ha. Oh, your foul mouth is ever. Bless your heart. Come on, Grandpa. You're coming along with the rest of us. It's that simple, folks. I haven't been tipped off that it's not that simple. I don't think. I don't, I don't know if it's actually... I don't know what detail that is, though. Oh, well, I'll be. What is this thing even? Oh, my God. I don't remember this guy at all. All right. Guess I can't be leaving everything up to you, whippers, snappers. How dare you, sir? It might actually be that simple. It, all right, can we join the conga line? Oh, can we? Oh, come on! I want to. I, I want to. I want. Oh, we're right here. No. You know what? Rejection hurts, folks. And these guys are making me feel it. Now. Uh, all right. Once they go by, maybe we can 
and Torino. What do we what do we got here again? Treasure, treasure. I oh yeah, maybe we just weren't able to actually climb this, or maybe I just opted to not climb this before because of what was going on with Strago. Apparently we're running with this party. Level ten magic, level twenty. What the heck? What the? Oh God, we don't even know spells really yet. But uh, here, slow your roll. Magic only fight. I can. Oh God. All right. Um. Do we have a D barrier break? Right. Gravity. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, all right, let's get it. Is that gonna work? No, it's still gonna reflect. Oh, that's, yeah, it turns you to stone. You know what, you know what I'm looking for, like a D barrier or something, right? Um, all right, let's try the banish. The, I, the, the one dude does, they actually could both be undead, so that might work. No, okay. Uh, anyways, let's, do we, Mog, do you know Asuna? Yes, you do. Thought I made sure of that earlier, so memory's serving well so far. One thing I actually meant to do here for my sake is turn the battle speed down, because I didn't know battle speed worked the way it did until I was playing the PS1, and someone, like, somehow I've gone this whole time without knowing that the battle speed's actually not a faster battle speed. It's how more often the enemy's going to attack. And I'm not saying I'm trying to make the game easier on myself, but I would like time to think, maybe. So I might turn it down just a notch. Not that, again, the game's not really giving me trouble. Okay, can we get, like, a reflect war here? Okay, I'm trying to think, because... Alright, if they're reflecting... Vanish. Some of these I don't even know. Dispel? That... See, like, some of the translation differences are different, because I know 7 does have it, but 7's kind of the older translations of stuff. And GBA. Okay. Um... I'll have to look up some of these functions, clearly. Once again. Libra... Oh man, I don't know, guys. Uh, teleport. Could teleport ourselves out of this fight, probably. Um, no, it's just gonna end up berserking one of us. Uh, yeah, best I can think is. See if that worked. And probably not the best spell to do it with. This is so weird. I've never seen this. Oh, is he multicasting? Okay. Lazaga. I don't know what just happened. Oh my god. That's gonna outright murder. Okay. I love outright murder. Alright, let's let's start double reflecting, I guess. Uh okay. The other thing I was wondering I haven't seen yet, is there like a, a raise plus or a raise aga? I forget what they I forgot the translation on that, depending on the version, but you know what that might yeah, okay, so reflecting. So if we keep reflecting. I, I, my logic says the way that's just going to work is it's just going to endlessly reflect, but I think the game probably has that thought of in the sense of... We don't have reflect, do we? Well, it's fine, because we could use a, a good cure on everybody from all the abuse we've taken. Uh, probably Tara, Tara's got that regen, so she doesn't really need it, but I think... Oh. Well, you know what? He's not her... Oh! Oh! I actually didn't check the backline guy, did I? Because he hasn't been reflecting anything. Uh, anyways. I don't know what the heck's going on behind me, but... Uh, let's see. Get these reflects out. Mog, you don't know that, do you? I don't think you know that. Sorry, this is a bit tedious. Ooh, let's see. Okay, it will, in fact, cancel out. I was like, it'll probably... What the heck? Okay, let's let's get uh, a good old like. Uh, well, actually, you have healing magic. All right, I'm all over the place here, but this guy will get hurt from that. Uh, so that should be okay. We have the reflex out now. Okay, so he's dead. So now I probably gonna get one more reflex or two, the two, just to be safe. We're gonna do that. I don't know if those wore out already. I, judging by the way they look. Probably not. So let's get those four reflex and then find a way to hurt this guy. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? I don't know what he's going to be weak to necessarily. Mr. Level 20 Magic. Okay. No! 
Actually, I think I remember this from Final Fantasy IV as a little tactic you can use here. Now that we've got Reflect on, we can actually... Oh god, that hurt. Like 2,000? Jesus. Um, we can actually self-damage and reflect back to him. So I think the reflect automatically works one time by the looks of it. So you can't re double reflect is what I'm saying. Anyways, uh, I think that's what I'm... Uh, no, that's... <laughs> okay, I, I'm learning. <laughs> Blazaga. Okay, if he doesn't get hurt, let's just go for the attack. Because we can't actually cure ourselves right now without uh, potions. But we have them. But I'm not going to use them. So that should do it. No, sir. Confuse yourself. Good job. Uh, Reflex are still going. Let me just uh, switch to the next person. Can we? Can we? Okay. That should do it. That's going to be... That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. All right. That was weird. That was weird. <laughs> that was weird. Chris learned float. All right, excellent. Let's let's get a heal up here. Uh, how do we end up on MP there? Not bad. MP, MP never really seems to be a problem in this. I don't know. I guess that's a question. Am I like over leveled? I don't necessarily feel like it, but okay. Sometimes it's just easier. I know it's not often just spam those, but uh, that's the way I like to do it. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go to config. We're gonna give ourselves. Yeah, battle speed. Yeah, we're gonna go down. Down one. Just give myself a little bit of a break for my ADD. But uh, that's one of my solutions. I know it's not the best solution, maybe not the most favorite solution, but I didn't actually know that's what I was increasing with that, but it doesn't mean I don't like the difficulty. Once again, safety bit. Uh, that sounds like it might be an Edward thing. Let's see. Oh, we also have the super balls. I could have used stuff like that, couldn't I? That might be an idea going forward. Uh, what was that safety bit? Again, don't lose my train of thought of what I was doing. Safety bit is a relic. Tiny sphere that whirls around the owner's head, prevents petrification zombie and instant death. That sounds not bad in certain circumstances. I find those things are something more when you are on like your second playthrough that you can really use to help yourself out. Also, this trippy like dance freaking music is still freaking me out. One sec, I just want to make sure. Okay. I don't know if my volumes were still going. I want to actually reorganize the way this is in case I need to look at my good old guy dying again. But dying's been very helpful. Once again, world record speedrunner for this game on Super Nintendo at least. Magic. Ooh, these guys. Remedy. All right, now, so I think we might have actually seen these in six. By the way, we're still only allowed to use magic. I don't. Let me just try something small. Because there is an enemy in Final Fantasy V that you have to give an elixir and you get a bunch of AP from it. Or, yeah, I think it's AP. Okay, so... Anyways, I don't think you're supposed to hurt these guys. Because they're only gonna... They're only gonna help us here. Um... That said, let's see how one reacts... To, oh? See, I feel bad hurting them anyways. I don't know if, uh... That's one thing I wouldn't mind knowing in the comments, because I don't have a lot of elixirs to go away, so I'm a giveaway, so I'm not going to do it. But uh, let me know if these are the same guys that you give the elixir, and they get all happy and give you, like, 500 AP. Because that is the thing in 5. I do remember that. Well, he gave us an elixir back, but he ran away, so... Thank God for the fast forward button sometimes. It's one thing I, like, I'm kind of bummed about, and I, I'd like to know what other people think, too. Like, when it comes to, uh... I mean, we have to skip this battle if it's a repeat. No, it is not. Um, all right, so let's get our usual strat rolling out here. Let's get a reflect. Probably actually only need to reflect one of us, honestly. And I don't think I'm gonna make it realm because it's got a high magic defense. Okay, so let's get a. Oh, oh, vanish. Okay, so that just takes them out of vision, right? So that actually would have been something to use on ourselves. Uh, anyways, I'm actually curious to know because like. It's like an instance like this, right? Where I've really enjoyed the fast forward function that emulators provide, but I still prefer hardware if I can help it. So I just, I, I'm curious what other people think. Like, I don't mind either way. There's definitely perks to both. But, ooh, that, I don't know if Reflect ignores accuracy, but it might. A lot of questions this time around, I know, but, uh, uh, Mog, I don't, I forget. Lakshmi is like some sort of healing thing. I believe. Oh, I could have done this sooner. That's what I should have done. 
Okay. Where are you? You are going to reflect your Celis. I was going to say I could runic, but I don't think that's really going to serve the best purpose at this moment. Okay, let's let's actually pay attention to how much fire I guys doing. It's one of these things I got to do from now on. As much as I like to keep talking. That shouldn't have hit, no? Or is this is reflect one time use? Okay, oh, you actually have a lot of the basic stit bells there. Let's get a Suna going. Okay, let's see here. Magic. You are going to reflect. Um, Terra. Don't you drain me. I think that's MP. Is that MP? No, I, unless it doesn't indicate in any specific way. I didn't actually pay attention to the fire ego. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we're doing the fire ego. Terra, pay attention. I literally move on to the next thing. Break. So petrify yourself. Are you, you're immune to it, or just missed? Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, I know I'm moving on to the next thing. Uh, pay attention to the fire aga. Uh, it's not aga, but let's see what Thundara is doing. Also find out if it's one-time use. Pay attention. Wait. Yeah, I didn't actually see it. Jeez. Uh, yeah, okay, there it is. I think I just missed the animation of it reflecting. Okay, um... Let me confuse yourself. Do a good old fire egg on yourself. There you go. It's kind of like I know they complain about North American audiences like uh, not knowing what to do necessarily back then, and they're kind of right with some of these translations. But like, how the heck did an area like this work out? Like, I think I've got the right solution here, but how the hell were people figuring this out? You know what I mean? Because like, uh, like I have enough wherewithal in this series to understand how to problem solve, but, like, certain things like this, maybe, but also those don't seem to be one-time use. I did take ignore that. Seems to be we can keep reflecting. I'm not sure why one got through. I was probably just wrong about how something was working, as per usual. Uh, fire. Uh... It's a very long-winded way to fight, for sure. Oh, he's getting smart, too. He's using it on himself. Isn't Rasp? That, that's, that's not the MP stealing one, is it? Hope that's enough. Thank God. Yeah, very interesting way to fight. Very interesting way to fight. I do have to find a save point here, because unfortunately I'm at like limited time. I guess this is where save states might play in, but um, I think we are reaching the end here. I know it's a lot of just learning and discovery. Progress episodes are... Progress is few and far between at the moment, but uh, I think it's more so with the way I'm cutting. It's not a really big deal. Okay, these are just increasing. My God. Um, all right, let's start breaking out the reflex. I don't mind having it on everyone. Where the heck does it... Okay, it's they're ordered in a certain way. I don't mind having it on everyone. Before we do that, let's actually make sure we get it. Ooh. Okay, I don't mind curing one of them with this. Oh, God. Yeah, especially with that. How dare you? I need to... Ugh. Okay, it's fine. You get a little, little bit of something-something. Let's get mogged up heal himself up there from magic. I know that's going to heal one of them, but they aren't hurt. Did one vanish? I didn't actually notice. Um, slow. Okay, dang it. It's doing that before. Are we on realm? Yeah. Reflect. Okay, go. Oh god, what are we, what are we, what are you using? Tornado? Looks like, what the heck is happening, man? Okay, let's, let's start getting some offense in here. Jesus, man. Thundaga. Although, I didn't actually see it. That cure hurt them? Are these guys... These guys all might be candidates to be undead. I didn't actually see if that cured him. I wish I did. This poison's doing a number. That's for sure. Uh, what do we have? I think this is... Yeah, this is not a time-free zone. Selecting spells is. I don't think selecting items is a time-free zone, necessarily. Okay, that's one down at least. A lot less tr problems with that. Okay, we're gonna get, uh... I didn't use the right thing. Yes, I did. Antidote. I don't know if she's surviving that, to be honest. Oh, God. This is gonna be interesting. Vacuum is the thing that's happening. I might cut you guys, or we'll just... Sorry for the noise in this fight. We'll cut after. Oh, if if we're even alive, that is. Oh. I really should have saved stage. Damn it. 
I'm pretty sure if we can even survive that. Thank God. We actually have to worry about dying to basic enemies here. Unless this is like all considered part of the boss fight. That's all we get for health on a high potion? Shit. Oh, this... oh no, dude. Well, I'll chalk that one up to incompetence. I guess we're doing this entire episode over again as far as uh, progress goes, but shouldn't be a huge deal. Fuck, man. Really? I get upset when I have to repeat things, even though, like, in the end, I don't really mind. So I'm trying to, like, counsel myself right now. Be like, hey, it's not going to take that long. You enjoy what it's going to take. But fuck, I hate game overing. It really irks me. <laughs> I don't know if anybody likes it. Hey. Oh, yeah. No, this looks like... Oh, God. Uh. <laughs> it's fine. Because if I if I, if I I play this up right now, we're going to end up with Super Metroid in our hands where people are really mad at me. So, we're fine. I guess we're redoing that next time. I needed to stop for the day anyways because I've got more company coming for three days. So, I had to get something out there. But this has been 45 minutes of gameplay. Uh, out the window, mind you. But... Uh, I think. Yeah, I don't see any level gains in Terror or anything, but not that we gained any from those, so really, it's not that bad. Counseling myself still. It's fine. Next time we play this, we will do that all again. Probably off screen and cut you guys to that stairwell. Perhaps not a place I should be right now. I don't know. I didn't really notice myself taking a ton of damage until that area, but it seemed like the higher I got up the stairs, the worse the enemies. And just really trying to get myself to focus in these fights. I might have to turn that battle speed down. Because I need I need my moment to process. Like, hey, if I'm going to see how much damage fire I guess do, i got to actually sit there and watch. Otherwise, if I move on to the next thing for the sake of the battle speed, you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of what I'm saying. That's not just because I got my ass handed to me by not noticing things. But, uh, I mean, that too, I guess. Uh, is there even a point in saving? I don't think so. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one. And I hope you have a great day.